the 11th report of 2016, and the target is 91.67%. The month's total income was $385,704. Of that total, motor vehicles came in at $278,920, uh, which is over the adjusted month's target by $30,920. The other major contributors to the month's total were interest on taxes at 6,878, building permits at 17,922, departmental income at $34,188, parking lots at 2,832, and the real estate trust at $41,307. The expense report shows at the end of the November, the operating departments without debt service but with open POs were 88. 0.62% of the budget, which is under the month's target by 3.05% or $736,279. The uh, in November of 2015, we were at 88.29% spent compared to the 88.62 in 16. Or if you look at the dollars in November of 2015, we were under target at, by uh, 789,000 compared to the 736,000 uh, this year. Overall, the departments as a whole are running under the target of 91.67, and I'm gonna, I'll just go through all the departments that are over target or very close to target for you. Uh, town manager is at 92.86%. The town clerk has uh, sections that are over target, but the department as a whole is at 86.17%. Legal is at 92.14%. Municipal insurance is at 96.23%. Uh, the majority of the bills in this category have been paid at this point. I think we've even uh, paid our last health insurance bill. Parking administration is at 105.95%. Uh, I don't expect them to change since I believe the parking lots are officially closed now. I don't think there's any more concerts or anything. The police department is at 91.75% when you include the open POs. Uh, it should be noted here that the holiday pay and career incentives were all paid in November. So, so uh, those are only just paid once a year. So that could be attributing to their target. On uh, page eight and nine, the fire department is at 89.33% when you include the open purchase orders. And the same thing here, their holiday pay and career incentives were also paid out in November. Hydrants is at 97.03%. The Department of Public Works is at 84.29% with open POs. Mosquito Control is at 93.2%. Patriotic Purposes is at 136.42%. Um, let's see. The 2015 encumbrances are showing that 91% have been expended to date. The Recreation Fund 24, the balance is $161,792. There have been beach sticker donations of $17,660 this year, with $16,442 being granted in scholarships. The Fund 25 for the Cable Committee has a balance of $168,767. Fund 26 for Private Detail has a balance of $137,860. Uh, fund 27, the EMS fund, has a balance of $396,589. And the wastewater system development charge, uh, the fees collected in 2016, now total $57,996, with a balance in that account of $172,680. There are a few expenses that we need um, that have been expended since then, so that balance will be dropping. But And I think that was all. For November. Any questions? No, no, none. Great, uh, great work, uh, Director. Great work with the budget process and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Thank you. Rick? Yeah, you've done a great job this year and uh, it seems like we're getting pretty close to spending all the money. Getting there. Uh, <laughs> well, things have even changed. I was just going through the after for the middle of December and we've already you know have lines that have changed drastically like the sidewalks uh, a lot of people look at this and say nothing's been spent well it's expended 26,000 in bills last week plus the Warren article so things have changed are changing weekly at this point so well thank you for keeping track of it thank you yes that is actually something I wanted to touch upon even though it says 736,000 that is still there at the end of the month. There was some confusion a week or a couple weeks ago at the budget committee. There's still probably bills we haven't received. 
I mean, that's probably all changed since you've done this report. Yes, I would um, imagine. in November we've already paid the, I mean in December, I'm sorry, we've already paid all of our gas and diesel, which we hadn't paid at the end of November because the bill goes through November 30th. So they come at the beginning of December. Those have been paid, which accounts for a good chunk of money. Um, electric bills, the same thing. They run the periods on the electric. Most of the electric bills are running from like the 11th or 12th of one month to the 11th or 12th of the next month. So we still have two months worth of electricity and utility bills, so to speak. Um, another two months worth of gas compared to what's in here, gas and diesel. The sidewalks was another big example. Um, Public Works, I know they had said the si no, no money has been spent on sidewalks. They had questioned, but actually all of it has been spent along with the majority of the Warren articles since these financials have been produced. So. Okay. And Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask the board for permission to present something to the budget committee that has been prepared by Christy. Sure. Um, Why don't you explain it if you want? Yeah, someone had, I believe, did you? I sent it to the board. I forgot to bring my copy, but I okay. did send it to all of you earlier today, and I put a copy in your mailboxes. Okay. They were, someone had produced on the budget committee uh, Excel spreadsheet that was showing increases and decreases that were not correct. I could tell just by looking at it right in the beginning. It was not correct because probably about 14 or 15 lines had the same increase amount. And then it got in one meeting saying that uh, wages had increased by 700000 in the budget this year. And that is totally not true. So Christy, thank you for doing this, put together actual increases and decreases from last year's 16 budget to this year's 17 budget that we all agreed to and that now is in the hands of the budget committee. So I would like to, if okay, present this report, which is accurate, to the budget committee so that we can eliminate wrong things being said to, at the meeting and on camera. Because saying that we have increased wages by $700,000 was totally untrue. The wage line increased 465000 but we also had approximately 184000 in decreases to that line, total wages. So that's 282000 So they're stating wrong information that everyone at home is listening and getting. So I would like to provide this to the Budget Committee so that they can have the accurate information to look at. And this can all be traced back to the Budget. And this is something that we've produced, not yes. something that... Christy has produced this report, yes. And the backup shows um, every line item in the budget is on there, so you would be able to look at that and see all every single line, the, what is it, a total of 451 lines or whatever, I, don't, yes. I forgot mine, but it has all of the lines right there so everyone can see. You know, all the lines that didn't change, the right. lines that decreased, the lines that increased, instead of just looking at only the increases. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, May, and, and thanks for bringing that up, uh, Selectman Barnes. And then you, you talked about uh, the 700000 that was still in the piggy bank that is really not still in the piggy bank because it's the call in the business. There are expenses that have been incurred but not yet paid. Right. And so we heard that disinformation a couple of weeks ago at public comment period, uh, the gist of that. And then we've got that erroneous data. And I would just say that uh, the budget this year is presented uh, by the Selectman is up what percent, Mr. Welch? Ballpark 1.1 percent. So uh, that's the bottom line <clears throat> increase across a budget that's in between 20 and 30 million dollars uh, from last year. The uh, the big money ticket items are going to be going on the warrant. So uh, the citizens, uh, the registered voters, will have the chance to vote up or down what they want to invest in their community. But we essentially have a flat budget. And Christy, I would like to uh, commend you and applaud you for uh, the tremendous amount of work that you have done with these uh, corrections to misinformation. Uh, and it's it's okay to have misinformation as long as it's not calculated or some part of a grand scheme, which um, uh, that doesn't appear to be the case. Uh, this is a professional organization. It's a professional corporation. We're audited. Miss um, Barnes is uh, an auditor. And uh, you do a fabulous job, but I know that uh, to correct this information, to provide information requests, which is your job, uh, uh, take a lot of time and energy from you, and it is not diminished in any way, uh, the tremendous, tremendous work you do and how you integrate both with the board, Mr. Welch, uh, and the entire department staff in the town. So thank you again very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're all set. Thank you for.